Hello. I am going to talk about how I'm going to be an artist in 2024. And if you are a new artist, how you can actualize that for yourself too. So part one is mindset. I am currently making my living as an assistant manager for an apartment community. So I work in property management primarily. I do want to get into owning my own real estate and things like that. So working in property management, of course, is a really great way to learn. However, since I'm not making my living through selling my art, it has been a little bit difficult to switch my mindset into being an artist. So one of the things that I'm going to start doing this year is when I meet new people, new friends, and they ask me what I do, I'm going to say, I work in property management, but I'm also an artist. And then it kind of opens up multiple different variations for a conversation. So if they have an interest more in property management, we can talk about that. Or if they're interested in what I do as an artist, then we can talk about that. Still definitely setting myself up for connections in both of those ways, but also actualizing myself as an artist, which I think is really nice. And that's, you know, that's what we're doing. With mindset, you know, you also have your actions that get you there. I'm a big believer in manifestation and speaking your truth into the universe and having it come true, but I know that there's a lot of work behind that. Um, so part two of being an artist in 2024 is, um, you know, the actions, like what am I doing? What am I doing to be an artist? Um, I'm definitely going to continue painting and creating. One of my goals is to post at least three videos a month. I want to get up to however many I can handle. It's really going to be dependent on what I'm doing full time um, in one way or another. But painting is definitely something that I want to do every week. I'm also going to continue creating content for YouTube and Pinterest and Instagram. I want to continue making my art the best it can be technically with the style that I'm creating in. Since I do a lot of hard edge stuff, geometric shapes, block colors, that's what I'm going to focus on. That's what I enjoy doing and that is what I want to get better at. I'm just going to let myself do what I want to do with the idea that it's going to benefit me in the long run because I'm working on my craft, which as a whole is is art so um so yeah there's definitely a lot of different avenues i can go down with being an artist and and with my creativity and i don't have to figure out which avenue of creativity works best for me to be an artist i just can kind of do what i like and as long as those actions align with my other goals then i don't really have to worry too much about what i'm doing because i'm doing art like that's the umbrella the third point is selling my art and having an online storefront for my art and i'm really excited about that because i am going to utilize print on demand services i know a lot of people maybe use like printify which i might i might consider those but right now my um, top contender uh, for the platform I want to use is Luma Prints, and I just got my prints in this past weekend. Uh, they were in when I got back from my trip to New York, so I was able to take a better look at all of those pieces and figure out which one I want to have listed on my online storefront. I'm really excited about getting the ball rolling and keeping it rolling on things like that. Within the next 90 days, I want to have a functional online storefront to where if somebody were to go on my website, they can purchase an item. That's, that's my goal for 90 days. Because I've had a lot of friends and family ask, am I selling anything yet? And it kind of pains me a little bit to have to say no, because I'm not. But once I get those things going, it's just gonna open up a whole new door of opportunity I will have learned so much to that point just because I'm teaching myself how to do all of these things and the internet as a whole, especially YouTube and other creators content have been not only 
a great source of information and with tutorials and everything like that but they've just been such an inspiration because there are other creatives that I look up to and that I'm learning from who are where I want to be and I'm sure they have creators that they're looking up to that they want to be uh, you know in their positions or you know I know everyone wants to continue to grow and progress and I think platforms like you know Instagram and YouTube just so cool because you get to see everybody's journey I think if you you know if you focus on the good and you utilize them for good then that's what you're gonna get out of them yeah all good things there all good things there so just to summarize in 2024 to be an artist I'm going to change my mindset and actually tell people when they ask me what I do I'm an artist I'm going to continue to create and experiment and learn um, and I'm going to set myself up to be able to do online sales and boiled down that is it I still have my website that I'm actually gonna update a little bit later this month I'm continuously updating my website all the time but I'm going to have a photo shoot scheduled for next week to do a few more of my to add a few more paintings to my portfolio on the website on my gallery um, and yeah. yeah 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 so that's gonna be updated so yeah I'm like doing all the things doing all the things it's fun anyway yeah anyway look at my outfit I don't know how far back I can get but this is my sweater and I'm just wearing little little boots it's a little chilly today so I have uh, some tights on under my tights but yeah I just thought I was cute so I just <laughs> just wanted to show you that but anyway and I got this new mic I'm super excited about because I feel like this is what my voice sounds like. This is not what my voice sounds like normally because I'm sick, but, um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this gives you a better insight into what I'm doing and why it's important to me. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll chat with you later, bye. <laughs>